Good afternoon, friends. Hi everyone, it's Lucy and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I purchased from SHEIN. Formerly She Inside. Where is She Inside? So for those of you who aren't familiar, SHEIN. SHEIN? I'm going to stick with SHEIN. It is an online website that sells affordable clothing. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's a lot of other stuff too, like accessories and shoes, but for today's video, I just focused on clothes. The reason that SHEIN in particular struck my fancy was that I feel like they have definitely seen a change from like their original website and vibe to where they're at now. Madeline Petch, aka Cheryl Blossom, aka Icon, has collaborated on a collection with them. Not that celebrity endorsements legitimize things, but it does certainly add a sense of credibility. So before I jump fully into the video, I just want to let you know that this video is not sponsored by Shein. They do, I think, sponsor quite a few videos on YouTube, but this is not one of them. <laughs> can't think of why they wouldn't want me to be their spokesmodel. <laughs> but seeing the rise in popularity of Shein has, you know, it's piqued my interest. I feel like a while back when I looked at Shein, I want to say like a year or two ago, their website was a hot mess. They had a lot of bad reviews and I was just like, you know what? I'm good. But as of recent, I've noticed that they, dare I say it, have upped their game. Like a few main things, uh, their website is a lot better and a lot of the items on their website appear to be their own photos. A lot of the time you see these flat lay photos which I feel like can be taken anyway, you don't know where those photos are being taken and also you don't really know how they look like on human people. I don't, wouldn't say it's exactly like ASOS but you can tell that they have their own set of models, their own sort of photo studio where they are taking photos of items and putting them on the website and it's consistent across the board. But actually it was when I was with my friend Erin and I complimented her on what she was wearing that she told me it was from Shein and she'd done an order from them. And while she said it was a little bit hit and miss, for the most part, she thought it was pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but if I have a friend that I love and trust and respect and they give something kind of a thumbs up, I'm game to try it. So I was in the market to buy a couple of outfits. I am heading on vacation in like by the time you see this video, I probably will have already been on and returned from my vacation, but I did want to buy some cute things to wear whilst on said vacation. So I've picked some things up. So all in all, I paid about 187 Australian dollars. The shipping was free. I ordered on the 11th of January and it came, I want to say like a week and a half later. The processing I found took quite a while, but after it processed, it was only like five business days for it to ship. That's just my experience. Depends on where you live, but just wanted to put that in there. I don't shop online super duper often, but when I do, I usually shop on ASOS or the Iconic because I found them to be reliable. They have good return systems and customer service policies, and they just have a nice variety of brands. Shein is different to both of those because it's not a variety of brands, it's all Shein, but I found this stuff to be like super unique. So I'm really excited to see if how it looks online is how it's gonna look in real life. A lot of it is just super cute, unique, funky. I'm not gonna keep just telling you what I think the clothes look like. It's time for me to show and not to tell. So let's get straight into the haul. Ari, this look today with like the hair and the colors and like the puffy sleeves, I was kind of like, ooh, it's giving me like Little Mermaid, like pink dress vibes, if you know what I mean. But I also realized that this look gives off Ugly Stepsister Anastasia from Cinderella vibes. So there's that. Let me know what you think this outfit vibe is because I am now no longer sure. I'm just gonna go downstairs and get my haul. <laughs> You can see in the mirror that I'm just walking like a creepy little man. Okay, I'm gonna try this stuff on. Alrighty, here is the first outfit. This is really cute. It looks a lot like the picture. This is very much inspired by that like chinoiserie, Dior print kind of vibe. Very eagle chic. I actually really, really like this. I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. The material is kind of like a swimsuit vibe, very like stretchy, quite comfy. I don't know how it'll be like over long periods of time, probably a little bit sweaty, but I guess if it's a swimsuit, it'll just soak up that moisture. I think the sleeves are really flattering. The top in particular, I really like. I think it's quite different. I think it's very flattering. The skirt is really nice as well. It has like a ruching detail on the side. These items come together as a set and this was around $20 Australian for both of them, which I think is really great. The thing with these websites is you can often find similar things on Taobao or AliExpress because obviously the wholesaler supplies Shein and then Shein applies a markup and sends it out. But for $20, I think that's really great. 
The only thing that I don't like super duper love about it is it's a little bit big around the waist, like a bit gappy here. I really like that it is a crop top and a high waisted bottom with just a little bit of midriff. I love that silhouette and I find that that is a very typically flattering look on myself, but obviously it's all up to personal preference. Not to be like full narcissism, but like this is my YouTube channel about myself, so I feel like I'm just gonna go for it regardless. But I'm really liking the blue and white with the red hair. I feel like it's a really good striking color combo. I ordered this in a medium and I tend to be a small to medium in Australian clothes, so I'm kind of surprised that the sizing is consistent. I know they're in international retail, but sometimes with online stores you kind of have to like... I feel like this is more of a statement outfit, but I do feel like I can wear the skirt with like a white top and I could wear this top with like a pair of jeans or something and that would be really striking and cute. So I do feel like it's a set that you can use separately. I do feel like it gets a little bit sheer on the back, so just make sure you wear nude underwear underneath it. As someone who is a little bit hesitant sometimes to jump on trends because I'm not sure if they'll suit me, paying $20 to try this out is a really great way to see if I like the trend and I think I do. I think $20 for this two-piece set is definitely very much worth the price. You're getting two pieces, it is very much a trendy print and it definitely gives you the vibe that you might see on Sugar Thrills or some other like Instagram e-girl type brands that would typically be more expensive. I would probably hazard a guess that those brands are a little bit more well-made, they might have lining, they might be a bit of a nicer material but like it's $20, I'm totally not complaining, I think it looks super cute. I think if you're looking for something that looks really high-end and luxe but costs a bit less, I don't know if this 100% fits that bill, but it fits a $20 bill, so <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. Let me know what you guys think of this, it's very like trendy, it's not something I would like normally go for, but I just saw it and thought I would try it, so let me know what you think and if it suits me. Thanks. Alrighty, this is outfit number two from Shein. I think I need to address the elephant in the room and that is the skirt. The skirt doesn't fit. It is a mini skirt, which like I totally knew that and I was fine about that, but it's just like floating. Again, I ordered this in the medium size and it doesn't have any stretch, which is fine, but the waistband is like, the waistband like at the back or at the front is really loose. Like the zip was disassociating from the outfit. It was like, goodbye, thank you for having me. I'm going off into another universe. But other than that, the skirt is really cute. The colors are really vibrant. It's printed on this nice like jacquard, probably not saying that right. The only thing I don't super love is like the little butterfly. They're not noticeable, but it's just like having that little butterfly detail in there just takes it from elegant English garden party to Barbie fairy Tokyo real quick. So, that's just how I feel about that. But other than that, I think it's a really cute skirt. Now this skirt was only like 14 Australian dollars. Now at that price point, this skirt is really excellent. Unfortunately, it's just a case of sizing and fit. And for me, this just didn't fit. So technically it fits and it looks okay, but I just don't feel super comfortable in it. It's like moving all around and it also is very, very short. So if it's to ride up, that could be danger zone. So it, it's really cute and just didn't happen to work on me, but it may work on you, who knows. Now let's talk about this top. It's just like that magical kind of like a retro style top. It's floaty, it's magical, it's a little bit different. I feel like a princess and that's really all that I can ask for in this world. This top was 22 Australian dollars and I think that is a steal. So much so that I ordered a second one, my mistake. Yep, <laughs> I'm that dummy. But seriously though, I think this is super gorgeous and it has lots of little details that to me kind of just like increase the value of its appearance. For example, if the sleeves were sheer and the cuffs didn't have any lace and neither did the collar, it would look a little bit more pedestrian. It wouldn't look so special and different. But this top is just like angel fairy dreams. Like I can wear this top with the skirt that I literally just wore. That would look cute. And I can wear it with jeans. I can wear it underneath like a pinafore dress. I'll tell you everyone what this top has. Versatility. And we respect it for that. I also would like to point out the magical dragonflies embroidered on the sleeves, which is just like, mwah. Not entirely sure why that doesn't give me juvenile Barbie fairy topia vibes, but the two butterflies on this skirt do. But hey, that's how my brain works. Can't help it. This is what nine-year-old Lucy dreamed that her pirate fairy princess look would be. And this 22-year-old Lucy with $22 was able to achieve that. So I am very happy. So yes, this is the second outfit. A little bit sad about the skirt, but I'm not like totally obsessed with it. So I don't feel like it was a real loss. And love this top. This is fairy princess dreams. What do you guys think? Do you like this top? I feel like there are other tops like it. Like I'm not saying it's the most unique thing in the world, but I just feel like it's a, little, it's a little bit more special than your typical like white top with like a sheer sleeve like this.
to the next outfit. Okay, okay, so outfit number three from Shein is this little number. You can't totally see the entirety of these pants, but these are high-waisted, white, wide-leg jeans. Something which I always dream of wearing, but I feel like whenever I try on any type of white jean, white jean short, white jean skirt, any type of white denim or white fitted bottom, I just don't get along with. They just, I just feel like they don't look great. These slap. This is the first time where I've put on like a white pair of jeans and I've been like, nice. A lot of the time it's like, oh god please save me or what have i done to deserve this or i would like to leave the changing room right now before i cry so to have not any of those three thoughts when i try on these pants is very exciting i don't think they're the perfect perfect fit as i don't really think many pairs of jeans are they are a little bit loose on the waist but nothing that i don't think a belt can fix but because they are like a wide cut and a wide leg there's plenty of room so i don't feel like my little so cucumber thigh boys are suffocating. They feel like they're given room to breathe. This is that like summery holiday option because I also like the look of like a white linen pant. Like I just want to look like a rich divorcee sailing through Positano. That's what I want, but I can't be that because I'm not rich, I'm not divorced and I'm not in Positano. So these white pants are the next best thing that I can have. I just also am very glad that like wide leg things are coming back in, especially high waist with wide leg things because finally I can look like a member of the Bratz pack because what? I have a passion for fashion. I feel like these would look super cute belted, but I also think like a super skinny colorful scarf belt would be really, really cute with this. A bit more of that like holiday vibe look. That said, it's not until you try and wear them for an extended period of time that I'd be able to see how they function without a belt, if the fit is really as good as I think it is, because I feel like you really do have to wear a pair of jeans to truly know. So that's like my disclaimer on these. Like I don't, in this moment, me and this pair of jeans vibing. If I wear them for like eight hours, maybe we won't vibe, but maybe we will. This is a Ross and Rachel situation. Will they, won't they? And I hope for my sake that they will, but I'm gonna keep them. I think they're cute and we just have to hope for the best, <laughs> to be honest. Getting a pair of jeans for less than $30 is iconic. <laughs> I always expect to pay at least 50 Australian dollars for jeans, if not 100, if not 150. And I have done that before, out of pure desperation and the need to be accepted by a pair of pants. But if these pants will take me as I am for 28 Australian dollars, now let's talk about the other part of this pastel ensemble, which is this top. If the last top that I was wearing was my fairy princess pirate dreams, this is my Barbie fairy princess princess dreams. It's amazing. This gives me like Winx Club vibes. I should probably be concerned that the majority of my like fashion inspiration is from like late 90s and early 2000s cartoon characters and franchises. Like their fashion was good and it was aspirational and that's why we're seeing literally all of those outfits coming back. It's the nostalgia. Y2K. So this has like a pastel colored broidery on the top. It's got like baby blue, lilac, a bit of like a peachy pink. It is super gorgeous and intricate and super unique. I haven't really seen anything like this. The only place where I've seen something kind of similar to this that's easily accessible to me, at least, is the Australian brand Forever New. Their stuff is definitely more in that mid-tier price range, like we're talking 50 to 100 Australian dollars for a top, 100 to 200 dollars for a dress, which is all very well and good. But this top was 30 dollars. So definitely, I think it's one of the more expensive things in this haul, but like 30 dollars being one of the more expensive things in a clothing haul, I think it's pretty good. I'm used to paying a little bit more for clothes, that's just like the exchange rate in Australia. <laughs> I genuinely don't mind paying a little bit more for clothes if I feel like I'm getting something that's unique, that's quality, that fits me nicely, and this does tick the bill. It's really unique and different. It has like zips on the wrist, like if I kind of, oh, there we go. The like wrists unzip so you can easily slide your arms into it and then when you zip it up it's like nice and tight on the arms. It's kind of weird but the zips are small enough and they're hidden zips so they're integrated really well into the sleeve so you can't see them. The other thing I would say is that the lace-up detail on this is a lot of work. When I initially tried to put this on I fully undid it, <laughs> which was a mistake. My recommendation for putting this top on would be to loosen this like you would a shoe. <laughs> and like wiggle yourself into it, not your arms. And then once you have this bit on your torso, then put your arms inside the sleeves. It's a little bit of a complicated process, but for the result, I'm not mad at it. 
because it's really cute and worth it. I will say that I do have limited mobility right now, like this is sort of... Yeah, that's sort of as far as I can go. I also think that I meant to lace this up like the other way and have the bow at the top. I think to have this level of detail and design in this top for $30 is incredible. It's super cute, super unique. I think this will look really cute. It's styled like this for more of like a dressy look with some heels or even with like a pair of jeans to like dress that up. I just think it's really unique. It is very much my style and for $30 I'm so not complaining if I have to like cut a bit of string. <laughs> I think this might be my favorite piece so far, but let me know what you guys think. I think this is just so darling. And the jeans too. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I don't want to come across as a negative Nancy, but I guess I wasn't planning on being so pleasantly surprised by Shein. I kind of still had my reservations from like what I'd seen in previous years, but like, like so far it's been pretty good. Like the hit rate has been really excellent. I would almost say that the hit rate's been better than like some of the like ASOS hauls that I've done. Like the level of quality and uniqueness and the fit has been like really solid. I haven't been like super surprised or disappointed yet. As much as I'm living for this fairy princess vibe, I'm gonna go try on the next outfit. Do you ever just speak too soon? <laughs> so this is the next outfit. This is a lovely dress. It is very much in the vein of a For Love and Lemon style kind of vibe which I have seen online. I love this like vibe of the sheer chiffon with like the velvety polka dot. Very much my thing. It's very like romantic and feminine vintage pinup vibe but still modern which I really enjoy but the problem is that it just looks a little bit frumpy <laughs> on me. A lot of the dresses that you're seeing at the moment with the cinched fabric that like shearing effect um, I've tried them on ones where they're like full shearing all the way down and they just don't look great on me and this is a similar situation. So there's a stretch fabric underneath and that's connected to the kind of ruched mesh material on top. But what's happening is that the area of my bodies that are wider, so around my bust, around my hips, the mesh is stretched out more and it's closer to the body. You're not seeing a lot of extra like fabric around here, but in areas where it's smaller, there's a lot of extra, which kind of takes away the silhouette because all of this here is like kind of just lying there, whereas I can't really pick up any extra fabric from the bottom, but there's plenty. So the illusion that it's creating is taking away a lot of my shape. It's not a big deal, but it's definitely not as flattering as I would like it to be. Let me see if I have like a wide belt and I can like pop that on to show you what I mean. Okay, this is the belt that I had on hand. I don't know if I would necessarily pair it with this belt, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't hate it. And what this belt is doing is compressing down that extra fabric so we don't have that illusion. I think this makes the dress look a lot cuter and it brings back some of that shape. If this was black, it would be even better, but I only really have a thin belt in the black, so it doesn't quite do what we need it to do. This look with the belt is quite like OTT pinup Barbie retro kind of vibes, but it is really cute. I don't know if they're part of the material or if they're kind of like mushed on, but the little velvet dots look really cute and overall the fabric looks of decent quality. To me at least it definitely looks like it costs more than 28 Australian dollars. I would say it's probably in like the hundred dollar price range in terms of how it looks. Unfortunately I don't know if I love it like without the belt and without something cinching into the waist because it just adds quite a bit of bulk around the waist that I don't like and I don't feel comfortable in and I don't think I would wear it out if I didn't have something cinched in the waist. That said, it's $28 so to have to wear a belt with it or add some kind of like a sash to wear with it, I'm not mad at that, like that's not terrible. I am thinking about returning this one just because I don't like totally feel in love with it but I do kind of like the vibe of it with a belt but I just don't feel like I'm gonna reach for it. I'm probably gonna reach for something else that I feel comfortable in as is. Like I, I, I don't like to jump hurdles <laughs> for clothes. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think I should keep this dress or should I return it? I'm leaning towards returning it because I think I'd rather spend the money towards something else that I would love more. But it's also really cute. So I'm not entirely sure. But yes, this is this dress. And with that slight disappointment, let's move on to the final outfit. Alrighty, we are on the final outfit for today. This is a midi dress with like a little floral print and surprise, princess sleeve. What did we expect, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Something different. This dress was a little bit over 21 Australian dollars, which I think is lovely for what it is. It's incredibly comfortable. I feel like the underlying theme of this haul is that I just want to look like a princess all the time. And the reality is that I 
don't. I just wear the same exact things over and over again. But this is the kind of thing that I want to incorporate into my rotation, something that I can just like throw on really easily. There's no zips or buttons or anything like that. It's just like you literally put it on and I feel really put together and really cute. There's a cute little uh, leg split there just to add a little bit of a zest, a bit of spice to an outfit. But for the most part, this is a pretty simple day dress. I don't really have that much to say about this one. Have a lot to say about other things. Have a lot to say in general. I just talk a lot. But this one is just very simply cute. <laughs> the showing around the top fits really nicely and then it just flows straight out. So I think it's an incredibly flattering cut and fit. And because of that design, I think it would look really flattering on a lot of people. And it's something that is just very easy to wear. I feel like I could pair this with one of these like little mini bags and like a pair of heels and style this up. But I also feel like I could wear it with like a nice big tote bag and a pair of like low top sneakers. And that would look really cute as well. It really is a versatile piece. That's all I really have to say about this one. I don't think it's anything groundbreaking or super different. But sometimes you just need that in your wardrobe. You just need that like comfort, familiarity, trustworthiness, loyalty. <laughs> I feel like this dress is the silent assassin. Like, I don't think we think it's the best one. We didn't think it was gonna be the best one. I don't know if it is the best one or the most exciting one, but it's just, it's really good. It snuck up on me that it was this nice. So that is the last dress, which means that is the end of the video. We done. We out. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. I, I really, I'm very, I'm very pleased. I'm very shocked that it went as well as it did. I was really ready for it to go horribly wrong, but it didn't, which is always a nice consolation <laughs> that it didn't. It went well. Everything's coming up Lucy. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I know you guys like seeing fashion content from me, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you some more of that fashion content when and where I can. Links to everything will be down in the description box, so check that out for all of the info. If you'd like to see me wearing these items, perhaps I will make an attempt to style and finesse them, you can check out my Instagram, which is at lucy.living on IG. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below which of the items today was your favourite and maybe give me some ideas on how I could style it. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos like it, perhaps you would consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, thank you. Make sure not to miss out on future videos by clicking that little notification bell because YouTube really be playing me by putting me under the radar like that. As always guys, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!